Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Drop Em to hear more. And I'm Meg Scoop, and it's getting a little colder outside, so with the cold air comes what? Cuffing season. Yes, it happens every year when everyone goes into hibernation. And so we decided to come up with a list of the five ways you can tell it's cuffing season. Number one is a tearjerker to all real fellas in the gang is no more sundresses. You already know, when you start singing, leggings come out and they wearing pants suits to do their jury duty, you know sundress season is over, man. And that's a real tearjerker for a real nigga. Why, because everyone's just wearing pantsuits to yeah, jury duty. Yeah, absolutely, man. Ain't nothing like a good sundress, man, when they get up and they, they ain't wearing no drawers, the sundress get caught in the cheeks and they have to like pull it and you be like, ooh! Number two, big guys get more confident. Now in the summertime season, it's all about the six pack abs, big brothers ain't in, but when that cold air hits, all the ladies wanna do is just hug up to a nice, cuddly, big teddy bear of a man. You goddamn right they do. Hell, I don't even go to pool parties in the summertime. I know that ain't for me, but come October, November, <laughs> holla at you, baby. You know, I see him, I be like, hey, what's up, Fat Fat? What's your name? That's disrespectful, first of all. First of all, a, a, no big dude has ever walked away from me calling him Fat Fat. Y'all need, need some more self-respect. Number three, all the new programming on TV, Netflix, cable, all of it is centered around love, dramedies, and comedy. Oh, you know what it is, man. All the new programming. Yeah, it's time to snuggle up and get cozy. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take this shirt off right now. Uh-uh, please don't, I'm sorry. Uh it's not freeze framing. Are we not freeze framing this? No. All right, cool. I'm going to put the shirt back on. Number four, women stop shaving their legs. Which is disgusting. OK, first of all, it's winter time coming up. You know, you're wearing pants more, your legs aren't up. Why do I have to shave every day? Because under the covers, y'all like to crisscross your legs and get them all tingled and tangled with our legs. We don't want to feel that cactus leg that you got growing what underneath you, that stubble-ass body of yours. What do you think this is, Mr. Brillo face? It's called a seat. Oh my gosh, you're so disgusting. And number five, I think, is one reason that we've all been guilty of one time or another. Yes. You start settling. Yes. Uh huh. In the summer, you keep all your options open. You're only looking for the baddest and the best. Yep. But in the wintertime, cover season, you be like. I mean, you're just trying to hug somebody. You know, sure you're do. like, well, we going to spoon, so I'm going to be facing this way. I'm not going to see his face. It's OK. Lower your standards. <laughs> A summertime five is a wintertime nine. That's the way I look at it, guys. You better get him how you can. <laughs> that is true, because somebody that you will not talk to in the summer, you may talk to them in the winter. I would definitely talk to a Meredith in the, in the wintertime. Get me a nice little Meredith. She sounds like she know how to cook some good ass porridge, don't it? Meredith? You, you hear Meredith, porridge. you think porridge. Good ass porridge and a knit blanket. She know how to cut her own wood, just toss it in the fire. She just don't need no help. She's just outside, hands calloused as hell, but keeping the house warm. See? That's what I like. Meredith, it's your season. So we want to hear from you. How can you tell if it's time for cuffing season? Put it in the comments below. Yeah, guys, and always, <laughs> like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I've been to hear more. And I'm Meg Scoop. We'll see you tomorrow on The Drop. You're goddamn right I will. What's up, Fat Fat? What's up, Meredith?